Hello. Into Red Room. It is. Let me put this on here correctly. There we go. There you go. <laughs> it's Into Red Room. I'm here with the fall. 2023 reading i am so sorry guys i just have been in a slump and i've been adjusting to new shit in my life so the first thing being i have a new job so we're gonna do the fall 2023 reading we'll do october even though it's like halfway through um, also, that'll be another video, but yes, I'm here with this one. I'm using the Goddess of Love Tarot, and yeah, let's get started. So, for the fall 2023, follicular, 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 ovulatory, ovulatory. Luteal, luteal, okay, this is additional, and then minstrel. Three of Swords, Follicular, Ten of Pentacles for um, Ovulatory, Three of Pentacles for Luteal, Five of Cups for Menstrual. Overall is the Death card. So, an Eight of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. So, what has got you down? Um, what has got you down? What has got you hung up, strung up, strung out? Um, what are you looking at? What are you looking into? Why are you looking into it? I would investigate that for the fall season. Particularly those who are going to experience colder months, I would, um, look into that. I would look into what's going on with that i think there are some opportunities to release and cry and let go um these could be long standing but they could be things that are just very important to you very important to what you thought you were who you thought you could be old visions of self things like that things that you got rewarded for as well right like you got rewarded for being like this you got rewarded for dressing like this you got rewarded for doing this career path being with this person etc etc and these things could have literally um been knives in your heart because you felt like maybe these are not the things there was a lot of questioning with these things um i noticed when i questioned a lot of things personally that it means that I'm either not putting enough effort towards it so that I can get the tangible result of what I'm questioning or that it's just literally not the right thing. Um, and so, yeah, there's a lot of questioning things, things that you love, things that you are interested in, things that you want, things that you uh, have become and achieved, things like that. It's just a lot of questionings. There are a few planets, I think, not necessarily going retrograde. Um, a lot of them are coming out of retrograde, but I think there's planets that you just have to kind of wrap that energy up that's tied to them. Some of them could be in your charts or wherever maybe your Mercury is or wherever you have uh, maybe air signs, particularly maybe Aquarius, Gemini. I would say look into those and see where um, some healing can take place. It could be related to Venus, but that's kind of an obvious type play we can do with the Three of Swords, so I won't do that. It could be also related to your Jupiter. Someone could have Jupiter in Gemini, and um, it could be something that 
is pressing upon you to get off your chest regards, with regards to how you see things going in your life. We have the Ten of Pentacles. So wrapping yourself up in love, wrapping yourself up in being um, wise, what you want. It could be things that you find that you love that are very old as far as like tradition. So it could be very established fields already. And you may find that you have a lot of interest in old things, old ways of doing things and not as a, a resistance to advancement or anything like that. But it could just be you like old processes because it maybe there's something fully immersive about this process that you enjoy like if you could paint a lot simpler like on the printer versus by hand you like it by hand because there's something very immersive about it and something maybe egalitarian about it um, it's not just you're pressing buttons as kind of an overlord to the technology you're actually kind of investigating and interrogating and uh interacting with color and the brush and the canvas and whatever you're trying to create you're investigating what that means and you have a bit of a, of a relationship that gets built and the relationships that you are building whether they be with people or not are very important at this time um, i think it's the fullest that you are when you have these relationships that you are pinging off of and that are pinging off of you and showing you yourself in especially if it's anything related to career or something tangible that you're creating you get the physical result of your labor and so with this three of swords here the advice is to actually be a little bit more invested in the active um, the active process of creating with the three of pinnacles we have you may so it may be like you started off really gung-ho about it and not that you have lost that but i think there's some sort of rhythm that's been established now with this luteal face card and you're able to kind of move forward and do your thing and it's a little bit more of a routine this i kind of feel like is more of an internal desire that needs to be fulfilled this kind of seems like that that honeymoon has worn off and we're moving into literally an establishment a mind body connection you're in the flow you've developed processes to help you get into the flow so whether it is you meditate for 30 minutes before you you know um, smoke your favorite like herbal cigarette you do sage you go in a trance you do whatever I feel like because it's pentacles and it's the three there's building blocks that you now have to go ahead and make sure that this process is fully enveloped and getting your mind involved doesn't mean that this could be this kind of thing when you get your mind involved that somehow the creative process of being is stifled but actually when you get your head involved and you get the more practical things out of the way you can enjoy things a lot more because you're able to see things through there's not a lot of clutter in your way and so you don't need clutter in your way you need to be able to determine for yourself what you are looking at and what you are trying to get and achieve and the practical steps to get there and once you get there kind of just keep the momentum going not stopping we have here the five of cups at the end move it over a little bit towards the end of the cycle and so if there's something that has been destroyed like um you were making something and you made a mistake or you feel like things aren't necessarily working out i feel like it's something that you created though that you really were attached to maybe like you had a lot of money riding on it maybe you had a lot of time constraints with it and you feel like you weren't able to deliver in the amount of time 
Um, but I feel like also it just gives you preparation for the next time, what you need to do better, what you need to come back with, things like that. I don't feel like it is a complete like disaster or failure. And also it could be that people around you are a lot more receptive and warm to whatever this thing is, whatever you've done, whatever you created, whatever your status is, whatever your stature is within your family, within your friend groups, and you're not as comfortable with that because there's something that you perhaps want to have achieved and you don't perhaps maybe feel equal, it seems like. You feel like you aren't as productive as the people around you aren't as, you know, these things. Uh, but you have friend groups that I think maybe sense that and that are willing to talk to you if you want to talk about it. You don't necessarily have to, but they are there if you want to talk about it. We have the death card here. Um, I think that this is a really good indication that you have done some sort of transformation. And I think also kind of like there is maybe a little bit of self, um, not hatred, but anger towards self, directed towards the self that needs to be worked through. And I think that this car coming up with the the head being off leads me to believe that there's some sort of process of elimination of self that's happening um and that needs to be worked through i think we just passed with the new moon and i think we friday the 13th just came up too and so there is some sort of cutting off of a cycle with this whole thing you have the eight of pentacles because youtube is like weird about stuff you have the eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck i think with this it's just kind of like working towards things making sure that you are elevating your craft elevating what you want to do elevating what you need to do i think that there is some sort of community that may be being built on whatever you're doing um, you just need to stay communicative and open I think with this eight of pentacles because while you may not have everything and this is a thing you may not you may feel like and I've been going through this as well um that's why does this seem so crooked there we go I'm sorry it just seems so crooked um me I feel like you know I'm trying to start these things and that I don't have everything that is necessary to offer this outwardly in the world and then I kind of realize like yeah I kind of do like the basis of what I need is actually obtained and so you may just be feeling like that too like the basis of what you need in order to offer this thing is is not obtained yet you haven't reached it yet it's you know you got three more things to do and that is a procrastination mechanism that is pushing the timeline farther down the line and you don't need that you need to just do this you need to just do this thing because once you offer it people who need it will show up and they'll be receptive to it and you can always fine tune it i think there may be just a sense of thinking that if you don't have it completely perfect that you failed and that's not true so yeah let's see about the the death card i'll read um part of it so death is an omen of change rarely a literal death instead it's an ending that makes way for a beginning death can feel like a breath of fresh air the promise of something new on the horizon. Death also means total surrender. Release your resistance to endings and recognize the power in both at once death and rebirth. Evolution sometimes comes from a sacrifice so deep that you have no choice but to yell into the abyss and give everything to the goddess without any expectations in return. So that's the little blurb and you can read about the rest of the death card and the correspondences right so 
thank you so much for you know watching i will talk to you guys later take care bye